Ladies and gentlemen, a Roach Hydra Viper max out in a guide form. I will now speak through the build. 13 Overlord. Do you struggle against mech? Do you just attack with 85 roaches into 99 tanks? Do you see seven Thors on the opponent side of the map and throw your hands up in the air unsure of what to do? Don't worry. I have a max out for you. It's a Roach Hydra Viper max out. And it's a classic approach to Zerg versus Mech. This is not a new idea. This is an idea that is older than most legacy builds. Roach Hydra Viper has been a pretty cool thing to do since the Viper was introduced in what? Art of the Swarm? When I got Grandmaster the first time, I played Roach Hydra in all three matchups. It's pretty cool. And some people would say, well, Roach Hydra, that gets destroyed by tanks. Not with Viper support, it does not. Even two to three Vipers can be a huge difference in how well your Roach Hydra trades. Most Terrans are not god tier at pre splitting their tanks, so you can get some blinding clouds off and pretty much make the tanks inactive for a period of time. So we went 18, gas 17, full. My second overlord is going around looking for proxy. We have a nice volunteer, JW, who's going to be playing some mech Terran for us. Yeah. I'm going to go for a 19 overlord, rallied over to the third base. This overlord, by the natural, is looking for bunkers and stuff. Going to make a drone, because we don't see any bunkers. First overlord is getting across the map. We want to check for a base and then go to the safe spot. Pool finishes, two queens, four lanes. Pulling two workers off gas. Taking ling speed. Making drone, drone. We're going to drone up to 30 and make an overlord. There's no base here. Want to go check? Let's see if it's a cheese. Or... Okay, that's extra safe, is what that is. So, I can just go and take a third. If the opponent defends, expand. And also creep. But creep always, and without ceasing. Third base is up, 31 supply. We make an overlord, and then drone. And if we float money, we make a queen. And if we have larva, we make drones. Drones and drones and drones. I'm gonna make another Overlord. Overlord just finished. And we're droning. This screen from the creep tumor, then go back to the hatch. All drones. And then we still have 150, so I'll make another queen. Queens, drones, and overlords. That's what the early game is. Queens, drones, and overlords. Three minute thirty is the time that you scout. I'm sending in an overlord, but I know the overlord probably is going to die. So I'm going to make two overlords to offset that. Refilling the gas at around 3.30. Doesn't have to be perfect. Spread and creep. 350 roach warren. 355 lair. We're just teching up. Lair puts us closer toward Hive, and now I know that it's mech. So, we're gonna keep making drones. It could be a blue flame Hellion timing. So I'm gonna try to up my lane count to about 14. And I don't think he can afford to go for starport units, but just for the purpose of memorizing, Let's put one spore per base at 4.30. One spore per base at 4.30. It's good against Cloak Banshee. It's good against Battle Cruisers and all that cool stuff. So this is what the Lings are for. We made the 14 Lings specifically to catch Hellions that die. And since we cleared those, we can spread creep again. 
And we could go for an overseer scout right around five to six minutes because we don't know for sure whether it's mech or bio. Maybe that was blue flame into bio. Don't know, but we can check. Let's get a fourth base. Taking a fourth base after Hellion Stein is a really good call. Let's get some Evo chambers. Two Evo chambers. This overseer is going. We can even drop a changeling too. Send a changeling to the wall. Drones and drones. We are zooming race car speed drone production. Super fast. Formula One racer of drone production. And I'm just hatches larva drones. Select the hatches, select all larvas, spam out drones. Put it on rapid fire. Went to Overseer Scout. And we see almost all factories, Ghost Academy. Okay, it's mech. So we're going ranged and carapace. We're going infestation pit, killing the gases. We're still droning. And then we're gonna go hydro down. Kill this. Fourth base is up. And the queen should be pushing the creep in front of the fourth base. Look at our money. We have some money. Let's go overload speed. We can start raising an army now, because we have enough drones. 73 is good enough. So I'm making overlords. I want overlords all the way up to 200 supply. Whenever a hatch is done, it's kind of like a queen birthday party, birthday shower thing. Baby shower. I don't know. Getting a hive. I canceled overlord speed. I want the hive fast. Fast! My range is going. Okay. Taking those gases. And now that I have some army, and I killed the Hellions, we should break rocks. So we're Hive is on the way. Hydra speed is queued up after Hydra range. I can put these changelings and see where the expansions are going to be. 82 workers. That might seem a little high, but if we put two spines per base to defend against Hellion drive by, then how many will we have? We could even do this. You don't really have to put them in the main or the natural. But it's not a bad practice. Now I have 74. And I just made a bunch of spines at my bases. How awesome is that? The hive is done. I heard it. And I have enough gas for two vipers. They're just going to go over here to the evos. I see I have 152, so I want to make a ton of overlords. Because we're getting maxed now. The time of droning is over. The time of making Roach Hydra Viper is now. It's eight minutes into the game. Just made a bunch of overlords. And I made some vipers. Let's get plus two ranged attack. And then we're gonna try to hit 200 supply. I'm doing a shift rally for the vipers. They're gonna be consuming energy from the buildings until they have full energy. And then they're gonna follow a hydro disc in my army. In the order of priority for the units I'm making in the army, I would prefer to make hydras, but if I'm low on gas, I can make roaches or lings. I'm gonna break rocks while I wait. Hydra production is still going. Let's fill this gas. Still making hydras and stuff. Fantastic. Spreading creep. Let's get an upgrade. And we have a new base. This is our fifth base. So the queens will have their birthday shower there. Whatever that event is. And I have 200 supply. And the vipers are with the army now with full energy. So I'm going to bring this overseer up. Taking overlord speed now. Let's take a breath before the plunge. So we're injecting the bases before we focus on the army. We see a bunch of tanks. Let's split the hydras half and half. And then we're going to F2 and then focus on the viper control. You can blind that, abduct that. I just A moved my ground army. 
and I'm just gonna focus on Viper Control. I just abducted that. And I abducted that. And then I wanna make Hydras, and then go back and inject. And then the fifth base is up. That's it. Roach Hydra Viper max out. The early game went in my favor, so it might not be that decisive, but the idea is you should trade efficiently with Viper energy, and you should trade like garbage without Viper energy. So you fight until your Viper energy is gone, and then you go home. If you want to be GSL Code S, you can have rotating groups of Vipers where there are two with the army and then some at home gaining energy, and then you replace your control group with the fresh Vipers. That's a way that you could be extra fancy. And there is a brief overlook of what you could do against mech. A Roach Hydra Viper max out. 